to use WeVideo to make our own video creation. WeVideo is a web-based video making software. It is WeVideo.com. We are going to click Log In at the top. You will log in with Google. Make sure you click Log In with Google and then you will be at your dashboard. You can go straight into making a recording if you'd like, or you can go to the video dashboard tool where you'll have your timeline to start making your video, and you can record there too. So we'll just start by clicking on video. It's asking me where I'd like to save it. And here we are. This is your dashboard. You have several tools available to you here. Stock media, that's where you can use so many different pictures and videos that WeVideo provides for us to use. There's something for everything. You see there's pictures for insects. You see there's pictures for, let's say, say we wanted a picture of a farm. There's many pictures of a farm. Now, in second grade, we just read an article about the importance of farming. So let's say I wanna use some of these pictures and I make a quick video about the importance of farming. And I'll just pick some of these pictures and drop them into video one. Oh, that looks good, some tomatoes. It'll tell you how long it is right here at the top. Some cows grazing. And you can pick video videos or pictures to put into your project. And I'm just dropping those pictures into video one. If you'd like, you could record yourself if you click My Media. So we were just at Stock Media. Now we're going to go to My Media, and in My Media, that's where you have the choice to record your screen, record yourself, get pictures from another source, like perhaps Google Drive or your hard drive. You can also just narrate. But well, let's say I want to record myself, or I can record the screen I'm talking about. I will click Record. I can record using my webcam, I can record using my screen. Either one of these, it's going to ask permission to use the webcam on your device to be able to record. So keep that in mind. So whichever one you'd like to choose, you can record yourself and put it here, or you can record you talking about your screen like I'm doing now as I make this how-to Wii video. Now let's say I want to layer some text over here. Anything you record will stay here in your dashboard for you to use later. So let's say I made a recording of myself and I want to drop it in. I'm just going to click, drag, and drop it in. It's that easy. If I don't want it anymore, I can just click the little trash icon. But now you see that the pictures I've chosen and me talking about the importance of farming are all here in my timeline. Now, on video two, I can layer some text on top. I'm gonna click, I was on My Media, now I'm going to click on Text. And now this is where you can add words. I'm gonna scroll down and find one I like. Let's see here. If I know I'm gonna be writing about farming, maybe I'll move this over just a little bit and check out what I can do here. Or I can line it, I can move it however I want. I can make a title page. This one looks kind of fun. I'm gonna slide it in just in video two to make edits to the text box, putting my words there, I double click on the text box. Now I can change the words. The importance 
of farming. By Mrs. Stiltz. Now, most of your changes save themselves in WeVideo, but when you add text, you have to save your changes by clicking the Save Changes button down here. So now you see I have a title page, and you can preview in your preview screen right here. And then it'll go into my pictures that I've chosen here. But I want to add some pictures to layer on top of this graphic, and I'll do that here. I'm going to drag this one because it sort of matches, but you could use any of them that you want. I'm going to click. I'm going to drag it in. I'm going to see if it'll let me stretch as long as my picture, and it does. Now, I can think about what I want to say here. Now, this might not be a good choice because I want to, it might not have enough font places for me. This might give me enough. I'm actually going to cancel and choose a different one. So I'll just click and press the trash button here. I'm going to choose one that allows me to put some more text. I want to be able to put pretty many words. This one's pretty good. I'm going to click and drag and see if it'll let me stretch it out. Now I can put words that will layer on top of my picture. Let me show you what I did there. I just double clicked on the text box that I dragged in. And there's where I can write my facts. This is where I can write my facts about what I've learned about farming. Farming is very important. We need farmers to help us get, help us. We need farmers to grow the food we eat. And you can see there, I can keep adding facts about farming right here. And then I'll save my changes. And that I didn't change that all the way just for time's sake, but you can add your facts here. You'll do the same thing to this one. This one, you notice the picture has cows. So perhaps the facts I add here will have to do with the cow picture. What are the importance of cows in farming? I will double click on the text box. Livestock is important to farming. And you see how it resizes depending on how much I'm gonna get my period. Cows provide milk and meat. And then you can keep going with facts. If you don't have anything else you want to add, just clear these boxes. And then that way, their words won't be there. And you can just kind of doodle to clear that box there. You just write a couple letters, then delete them. And it won't have that message there. Or you can just keep adding facts. How about that? Save changes. So now you see my facts layer over the graphic. The graphic is in video one. The facts are in video two. I'm just clicking and dragging the text box, double clicking on the text box so that I can put my words there. Well, we can do it again here. This is a picture of a farmer. So let's think about what we might say to go over the farmer. The United States. Depends on farmers and save changes. So now you see the words layer over. Now I notice white doesn't go so well. I'm going to double click again. I'm going to change the font to a color that will show better. Maybe I'll try to see if I can, maybe if black will do better. And you can play with different colors to see what is going to stand out better, what you can read better. In this case, I might want to do something like blue where I can really see it well. Or you can do two colors and save changes. Now, if you would like to add you 
in the video talking about why farming is important or whatever topic you're, you can make your wee video about anything you'd like. I just did farming because we just read an article on farming. You'll go to My Media, Record. If you want to record you, you'll click the webcam. If you want to record your screen, I'm not sure why you would want to for this particular project, but if you're doing a how-to, like how to play a game or how to do rocket spelling, you can record your screen and talk, and your screen will be recorded with your voice in the background. Webcam is if you want to record you. Maybe you want to put a personal touch of what you, why you think the topic is important and add it. When you're all finished and ready, when your video is ready and you think you have it finished the way you like it, you'll click Finish. You'll give it a name. Farming by Mrs. Stilts. I always like to make sure that my title is the way I want it. We want to export the video, so everything together. Let's put it in HD because why not? This is very important. Tune in. Destinations, where is your video going to go? It will be saved in your Wii Video account, but why not have it go also directly to your Google Drive? So I'll click the Google Drive icon so that now my Wii Video will not only save in my Wii Video account, but also go straight to my Google Drive. If it's the first time you're clicking this, Wii Video is going to ask permission to have access to your Google Drive. It'll be in a box right about here. So now I know my finished product will just be in Google Drive waiting for me to share with my teacher or to share with anyone I'd like. And then I will click export. And my video will just take a minute for Wii Video to put it all together, but it'll be waiting for you in Wii Video and in Google Drive. If you have any questions, Mrs. Stilts can help you at dstilts at parkwayschools.net. Until we meet again, have fun playing with making videos using Wii Video.